Welcome back to Dropedia Tutorials. Today I'm gonna teach how to draw Instinct from Fortnite. If you are new to this channel, be sure to like, subscribe, and comment below. I'm gonna draw on my Wacom tablet, but you can follow my tutorials with any other media that you have, whether it's pencil color, sharpie, or crayon. Now I'm gonna start with drawing the brim of her head with an arch curve line across. Semi turn to the middle point on both sides. Diagonal curve line across from the left corner to the right ending point. Above that shape on the left corner, diagonal curve line up to the middle point. Semi turn across to the right. Curve line diagonally down on the right corner. Below the brim of her head, I'm gonna draw a curve line downwards on the left corner. Semi turn to the right across to the right in the middle point mirror the same set of curve line on the right side of her face inside of that shape I'm going to her eye from the inner corner diagonal curve line across to the left turn it slightly up for the lower line of the eye I'm going to curve line from the inner corner Cross to the left, turn it diagonally up to the outer corner of her eye. I'm gonna thicken the outer corner of the eye at this upper point. Inside of the eye, I'm gonna draw her pupil with a circular shape in the middle point right there and a black circle in the middle of her eye. Surrounding the eye, I'm gonna draw a circular shape like that and I'm gonna copy the whole eye shape on the right side of her face below her eye in the middle point I'm gonna draw an arch curve line turn it diagonally down and out on both the left and right at the side of her face, I'm going to draw her earpiece with a rectangular shape. And on the lower right corner, I'm going to leave a gap at that corner. And at that gap from the right side, a U curve line across to the left. Turn it downwards. U curve line across to the right. Turn it upwards. Mirror the same shape of the earpiece on the right side of her head. Above the earpiece on the left corner, I'm going to draw a curve line up. Turn it to the middle point. Copy the same set of curve line again at the outer corner. And in between the two curve line, I'm going to draw a curve line across at this lower point. Mirror the same shape of the curve line on the right side of her head. And in between the two sets of curve line, I'm going to draw a line downwards right there. An arch curve line from both ending points at this lower point and at the upper corner. Below the earpiece at the side, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards. And below her face, I'm going to draw in the middle point a small rectangular shape for the zipper. And inside of that, I'm going to draw a short line at this lower point. At the side of the zipper, curve line downwards on the left and on the right. At the outer corner of that, I'm going to do another set of line downwards on both the left and right. From the side of her neck, I'm going to do a curve line out to the left, semi turn to the right and downwards. Mirror that same shape on the right side of her 
head and in between the two sets of curve line I'm going to draw a curve line across right there below that shape on the right corner I'm going to draw a line across right there on the right ending point turn it downwards and turn it diagonally to the left sideways to the left on the left ending point diagonal line to the left and downwards turn it downwards sideways to the right inside of that shape in the middle point I'm going to draw a rectangular shape right there and inside of that rectangular shape I'm going to draw a smaller rectangular shape at this upper point above that whole thing I'm going to draw another rectangular shape at that corner and inside of that I'm going to draw an X symbol copy that same set of shape again at this lower point and in between the two similar shape I'm going to draw a curve line upwards on the left corner and another one on the right corner in between the two lines I'm going to draw in the middle point two lines across on the left side I'm going to copy the same shape of the outline and I'm going to copy the lower part with a similar shape and above I'm going to draw from the left edge curve line across to the right repeat that same curve line again at this upper corner and another one and another one right there and another one Above that whole thing at the inner corner, curve line up, turn it sideways to the neck. I'm gonna do the same thing for the right side. In between those two straps, curve line across at this lower point. And above that curve line, I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape across the collar right there. And inside of that, a small circular shape on the right corner. In between the two straps, I'm going to draw a diagonal line downwards to the middle point and below that ending point, I'm going to draw a line across, semi-secure and downwards, a line downwards, semi-secure and to the left, a line upwards all the way up to that ending point. Inside of that shape, I'm going to trace the outline along the edge right there. And at the inner corner of the right strap, I'm going to draw a similar diagonal line downwards to the middle point right there. And below the right strap, I'm going to draw a long rectangular shape downwards at that corner. And inside of that, I'm going to draw off center to the left, a line downwards, another similar line on the right side. In the middle point of that, at the side, I'm going to draw a line across to the side of that rectangular shape and on the right side here as well. In the middle, I'm going to draw at this lower point a line across. From the side of our strap, I'm going to draw a curve line downwards on the left, semi turn diagonally out to the left, turn it downwards on the left side of our vest, curve line across to the middle point, semi turn upwards right there. Mirror that same set of line on the right side of our vest. On the left side of our vest, I'm going to draw a long rectangular shape across at that corner. And inside of that rectangular shape, I'm going to draw two lines downwards right there. Repeat that same set of shape again at this lower point and repeat that again two more times downwards below her vest I'm going to draw a curve line downwards for her waist and slightly inwards semi turn back outwards below her waist and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here from the ending point on the left curve line across to the right stretch it downwards in the middle point and back upwards on the right side repeat that same set of curve line again at this upper corner and in the middle of her 
outfit I'm going to draw a line downwards from her collar off center to the left right there all the way to the edge of the shirt right there and another line off center to the right and at the outer corner of that two line I'm gonna draw a similar line on the left side right here and another one on the right side below her shirt continue the line at the side downwards curve line across to the middle point stretch it downwards diagonally curve line across to the right and mirror the same set of line on the right corner right here and below that inner shirt I'm gonna draw her left leg with curve line downwards and flare it slightly out and at that point I'm gonna draw a strap on her thigh with curve line across to the right and another similar curve line for the lower line of that strap a line downwards on both ending points at the side inside of her strap on the left corner I'm gonna draw a short line downwards sideways to the left turn it downwards sideways to the right turn it downwards on the right side of that a line downwards and another one and another one repeat that same shape of the strap again at this lower point And in between the two straps, I'm going to draw a line downwards on both the outer line and the inner line. Continue that line below the second strap. And at this lower point, I'm going to draw another strap with curve line across. And another curve line across for the lower line of that strap. A line downwards on both sides. Now for the third strap, I'm going to draw the buckle on the right corner. And I'm going to copy the whole set of shape on the right side right here. Below that strap, I'm going to draw another strap. Again, above the knee. And for this strap, the buckle will be on the left. And I'm going to copy that same set of line, similar to the first two straps above the strap I'm going to continue the line of her legs downwards turn it slightly inwards towards her knee point and on her knee point I'm going to draw a curve line across turn it diagonally down on both sides turn it downwards and slightly inwards curve line across below the knee right there inside of that shape I'm gonna draw an arch curve line in the middle point at this upper corner same as could turn downwards turn it diagonally downwards to the middle point and I'm gonna do the same thing on the right side right here same as could turn at the lower point and a line across in the middle right there at the side of her thigh on the left, I'm going to draw her pouch with a rectangular shape at that corner and another smaller one below that. Now below her knee pad, I'm going to draw the lower leg pad with curve line across in the middle point. Turn it diagonally down on both sides. Turn it inwards towards her ankle point and downwards. Curve line across at the ending point below right there and inside of that shape I'm going to trace the same outline along the edge At the side of her lower leg pad on the left I'm going to draw a rectangular shape at this upper corner 
I repeat that same shape again in the middle point right here and another one at this lower point mirror that same shape again at the inner corner on the right right here and in between those shapes I'm gonna draw the side of her lower leg right there continue that line downwards to her ankle point curve line across on her ankle point and below that I'm gonna draw her shoe with an arch curve line across same is turn downwards on both sides and below that I'm gonna draw a curve line across turn it downwards on both sides flare it slightly out to the outer corner an arch curve line from the left ending point across to the right below that shape in the middle point I'm going to draw a line downwards on the left corner curve line across to the right turn it upwards below that from the left corner curve line downwards semi good turn across to the right semi good turn back upwards on the right corner and below that whole thing, I'm going to do a line across in the middle point, turn it diagonally down on both sides, curve line across to the right, and curve line across to the left, semi turn upwards right there, a line downwards below that at the side for the base of our shoe, and I'm going to do the same thing on the right side right here curve line across for the lower line of the base inside of that shape from the left corner diagonal line upwards right there curve line across turn it back diagonally down on the right side now for her right leg I'm gonna draw curve line downwards for the outer line right there and on her thigh I'm gonna draw a strap with the curve line across to the inner corner on the left like that and another similar curve line for the lower line of that strap a line downwards at the ending point on the left and right copy the same shape of the buckle similar to the straps on the left leg And I'm going to repeat the same shape of the strap again at this lower point. And in between the two straps, align on both the inner corner and the outer corner. Continue that line above the first strap at the inner corner across to the right semi could turn upwards to her inner shirt at the inner corner of that leg I'm gonna draw a short line upwards at that point on the right side I'm gonna draw a rectangular shape at that corner and inside of that I'm gonna draw an X symbol above that whole thing I'm gonna draw a line upwards on the left corner and another one on the right corner on the right side of that a line downwards, semi turn to the right. In between the two straps, I'm gonna draw from the middle point, diagonal curve line to the right. Below the second strap at the outer corner, a line downwards, turn it to the left, semi turn upwards. Below the shape on the right corner, curve line downwards, turn it slightly inwards to the left. Curve line downwards at the side of her knee right there and below the knee curve line downwards and flare it slightly out. I'm gonna do the same thing for the inner line of her right leg right there. Below that I'm gonna draw a curve line across from the left corner to the right and another similar curve line below that. A line downwards on both sides and I'm gonna repeat that same set of shape again at this lower point point. 
and another one above her anchor point and in between those straps I'm gonna copy the same shape of the lower leg pad like that And I'm going to trace the line along the edge of that lower leg pad. Now for her shoe below the anchor point, curve line across. Curve line downwards on both sides. Curve line across from the left corner to the right. And inside of that shape, I'm going to trace the same outline along the edge for the lower part of the shoe I'm gonna copy the same shape similar to her left shoe Now for her arms, on the left side of her vest, curve line out to her shoulder at this upper corner, same as turn downwards. Below that ending point, diagonal line outwards to the left and downwards. Flare it out on her elbow point, same as turn diagonally in to the right. For the inner line of that arm, at the lower point of the sleeve, diagonal curve line up to the left and on the left side of that diagonal line downwards to the left curve line across to the right and slightly downwards at that ending point I'm going to draw a curve line across to the left diagonally downwards and on the left side of that at the lower point I'm going to draw a rectangular shape at that corner inside of that I'm going to draw another smaller rectangular shape at this lower point and continue the inner line of her arms diagonally down to the right at this inner corner and at the outer corner below the rectangular shape for the inner line of her hand I'm going to draw a curve line across to her waist right there and below that a line across at that corner above that line I'm going to draw a short line upwards for the outer line of her hand Diagonal curve line across to the side of her waist, semi-circle turn upwards, and on her wrist, I'm going to draw a curve line across and another curve line across above the wrist. On her left hand, I'm going to draw a rectangular shape at that corner. Now for her right arm, I'm going to repeat the same shape of her shoulder. And halfway down on her upper arms, I'm going to draw a curve line across at that corner and another similar line below that. At the ending point at the side, curve line across at the outer corner and mirror that at the inner corner. Copy the same shape of the inner arm above that and I'm going to copy the same shape of her elbow on the right side right here. And below that, curve line across at that corner, turn it diagonally down to the left and at that point I'm going to draw a strap across her lower arm with curve line across and another similar curve line at this lower point. At the ending point on both sides, diagonal line downwards to the left and inside of the strap on the left corner I'm going to copy the same shape of the buckle similar to the one on her thigh. Below the strap, continue the line of her arms diagonally downwards to the left. And for her hands, I'm going to copy the same shape similar to her left hand.
across her lower arms I'm gonna draw some curve lines across like that and that's all for our tutorial today I hope you enjoy it and find my lessons helpful be sure to like and subscribe to this channel also feel free to drop your requests suggestions or any other comments in the comment section below see you next time